I ran into Mark Andreessen via sending him an email. I said, I understand you've just moved out here. A guy introduced me via, uh, or told me who he was. Mm -hmm. I just sent him an email out of the blue. Huh. He met with me the next morning, and we got together, and we just, I told him, look, I'm, I want to start a company. I'm not going to recruit from my current company. Uh, and uh, we, we s searched for something to do for about three months. And then one day he said, why don't we just hire the guys from uh, University of Illinois? They're all leaving because they're graduating. Yeah. Let's hire them and redo this thing and make it a commercial Make thing. Mosaic Browser yeah, into mosaic it, the browser. Netscape Browser. Redo it. And we did. So we I just we flew out there. I gave them offer letters, funded it, Amazing. brought them out here. And the world just went crazy that I was leaving a big company like SGI and I was hiring a team of nobodies out of right. university, but it happened that they were also very interested in the fact that we were uh, taking Mosaic into a commercial right. space. And for people who don't know, at the time, Mosaic didn't even support images. The Mosaic browser, I don't even it think did. It, yeah, it did. It did support yeah, images. Yeah, it did support images. Not backgrounds. Yeah. Probably not even tailored. It was, well, uh, basically what it added was images to text. Ah, the, okay, so that was so, the first piece. Yeah. Images, audio files, and things like that were right. all possible. I mean, it's just HTML. It's right. just format. Just a formatting language. But um, so we, we, we came out here, and I had a couple of guys who called me from Silicon Graphics, one of whom was Kip Pickwin, the same guy who had gotten us into the operating system business. And Kip uh, uh, is, is the one who, I said, look, we will not be successful if we don't make this system secure. We've got to devise something that makes us secure. Kip wrote the first version of that called Secure Sockets Layer, SSL. Yeah. And then uh, later we hired, hired Tahir al and uh, uh, Paul Coker, and they um, uh, re-implemented it and made it bulletproof. And so bulletproof that it's been being used now for 20 years with two minor modifications with no, no problems. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, and Netscape wound up getting sold to AOL eventually, I remember. Eventually got sold to AOL. Why Microsoft. did it become a standalone great company forever? What was the, what was the, was it just Microsoft's onslaught? I, I think it was, it was, it's, it's really hard to put your finger on yeah. it. Essentially, yeah, we made servers, software for servers. We yep. made software, but we didn't get into any, into any of the end user things. Right. We could have acquired the guys doing uh, Yahoo. We could right. have. Um, you, in fact, you hosted Yahoo. I think, if is that correct? On I the, don't recall if we hosted the them, but servers. but in any event, we 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 certainly talked to them quite right. a bit, and I. I we chose to try to be the, the supplier of the, let's say, the guts of the internet. Right. And it was a hard thing to do when there was a Microsoft trying to kill you. Right. Microsoft was trying to kill us, and they effectively did because right. they disabled us so much that we had to uh, take this offer from AOL. Right. And that was the one thing that, that, that was the antitrust thing that stuck, was that Microsoft bundled the browser. That was one of the big... The big Complaints. thing that Microsoft did that was precipitated the antitrust stuff was they um, they went to their current partners, the PC vendors, right. and said, "If you bundle the SGI browser, I mean the Netscape browser, yeah. we will uh, cut off your Windows license." Right. So that's the antitrust part. That w that is so cutthroat when you yep, think it's about. Yeah, pretty cutthroat. I mean, business is. Kind of a civilized form of warfare. <laughs> <laughs> civilized form, I like that. Well, I mean, we see it today with Facebook copying mm -hmm. everything oh, yeah. that Snapchat does. They I mean, look, I mean, it's better than having, you know, a battle where you shoot each other. But, right. you know, the idea is to kill the other company. Right. And, economically. Uh, economically. Hey, everybody, let me take a moment to tell you about the awesome Squarespace. I use Squarespace all the time. I think I've created a half dozen websites this year alone. Launch Angel Summit, Founder.University, Angel.University. Uh, every one of our websites we put onto Squarespace here at launch, and we love it. It costs us 10, 20 bucks a month to have an amazing, gorgeous website, and they will even give you a free domain name if you start up for a year. So start your free trial today. No credit card is required. You get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. And if you decide to sign up for Squarespace after the trial, use the promo code TWIST and you will get 10% off your first purchase. You will have a professionally designed website. You can pick from all these amazing, beautiful templates and it works everywhere on mobile, 
on your desktop, on a wide monitor, on a small monitor, on an iPad, on an iPhone, Android, it doesn't matter what you're using, it will look beautiful. State-of-the-art tech, secure and stable. It can withstand massive amounts of traffic when you go vial, vi when you go viral, and it's trusted by millions, including some of the most respected brands in the world. I am a huge fan of Squarespace. Thank you to Squarespace, and make sure you use that promo code TWIST. So we do it with our in-house creative and our content staff, not by hiring expensive developers. Thanks to my friends at Squarespace. Okay. Okay.